hello welcome to my channel welcome to this vlog i am so excited to film this week this is going to be a weekly vlog so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i am so excited today is monday 20th of february um i just got an order and i'll show you what it is just right now but i am honestly so happy this this is going to be a great week all right so if you're in Nairobi, you know just how hot it's been and just because of the heat you want to have something cold to drink or to whatever so i ordered myself some ice cream from ibu i got two flavors so one is the chai masala and cookies and you know what when i was ordering this i asked for them i was like oh i'm looking to have something sweet and something um citrusy so this was recommended as a something sweet it's the chai masala and cookies and initially i was like you know i don't like tea <laughs> so i don't know if i like how i feel about that as a flavor for ice cream but i was told it's not really um that it has tea as a flavor but just a mix of sweet spices and oils so i was like okay i'll have it i trust your opinion because it was recommended and then this other flavor is acid ginger glass so this was now the citrusy kind and i'm so happy and excited to try it because you know i'm a sweet tooth so this 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 is up my alley like a hundred percent yeah and i just like how it's literally made on order so i guess you might have to wait a day um or rather there are specific days they deliver or something of the sort um but i like that they do a lot of research when it comes to the type of fruits that they use there's some sort of ethical aspect which i really appreciate and i feel like more and more people are becoming aware of such things even like with fashion you know how you see people speaking against um high fast fashion and stuff like that so yeah that that honestly sold me customer service is good the cost might be a bit steep but yeah so 500 ml goes for 1500 and um that's inclusive of delivery so you don't have to pay extra for delivery but yeah i'm about to try it right now also i don't think i mentioned it's nandere ice cream and i was like you know what let me get on that because i'm those people who really like are affected by dairy and i'm like you know what i'm too grown to just intentionally hurt my gut just to enjoy ice cream or at least intentionally because i still think you know i'll have cheese here and there once in a while but if i can find a substitute that is equally good for like ice cream you know why not so that's how it looks honestly it looks so good yeah so let's try it i'm so happy Mm. That's interesting. <laughs> it's honestly really good. Like I could taste some of the chai aspects, but it's not so overpowering. Plus the cookies it's such a nice touch also feels like vanilla-ish in a way um i was expecting a different texture i thought it would like lean more towards sobe but maybe that will be for the citrusy one but this one definitely recommend it's it's so good i don't think you would even feel it's nandere because it still feels very very creamy i'm happy i'm happy with my patches I'm like the thought that I could enjoy that and um, like not have any problems after enjoying ice cream is just amazing. So the next one is this acid ginger and glass. Acid ginger glass, I don't know. I'm excited for that. I'm expecting it to be citrusy and of course have a kick, a ginger kick. Oh, this is how it looks. I don't think it's really focusing, but I think. What you're seeing on top there, I think, would be some ginger. Um, mm, wow. It's like very tangy, like. Definitely. I think there's some lemon there. 
something pretty sour infused in the whole ice cream um the texture for this one feels much different than the other one it's like a job breaker the sour job breakers that's how it tastes i think i might want to maybe combine like scoops of both of them at some point but i think i definitely prefer the first one yeah so i might want to combine the both of them at some point but i definitely prefer the first one like it's more of my alley it's sweet i like ice cream to be sweet i find this a bit the sourness i don't know if i can get past like a hundred percent because i was just expecting it to be citrusy but not like like citrusy orange not citrusy lemon you know yeah, so that's the kind of vibe hmm. all right so that's pretty much it for the ice cream taste um yeah i'm happy my monday feels good uh no pressure like it's just such a good week like i feel like this is going to be my best week of the month so i'm so happy i feel like uh even just the activities i have in store for myself like i'll be going to do my hair i plan to do a solo date in the course of the week i have uh, dinner plans with my siblings it just feels like a good week it, it now feels like my valentine's kind of week and just like now i'm feeling those vibes this week and i'm excited for that so i'll definitely bring you along during the week and i guess i might log back here tomorrow for the second day of the weekly vlog so yeah see you then it feels like the end of an era the last time that we'll be together might sneak up on us over Hey there um it's wednesday um yeah so yesterday i ended up doing my hair and then i went to mod cafe i felt like it was just an opportunity that presented itself for me because it's closed where i get my hair done sometimes and you know i was alone i had a notebook so it just felt like kind of a solo date so i just took advantage and decided to journal a bit um yesterday i feel like was that day for me which is as in it was just one of those days that no one can really prepare you for like it was a lot like i wish i could go into details but yeah i'm happy today is just wednesday and you know things seem to like shift and we're doing better and you know i like my hair got some cornrows done i still feel like i'm at that weird phase i'm just like oh my god i'm still looking a bit weird still growing into the hairstyle but yeah that's that's like the updates i don't know if i'll vlog much today uh probably tomorrow but we'll see all right today is thursday um i think today i feel like the most relaxed uh in this week um but i mean it's just been a slow day actually the most interesting thing is this sparkling ravina <laughs> That's I'm about to try. I've been wanting to do so for a minute. Um, yeah, because I've seen some people saying it's nice, whatever. So I'm just like, okay, let's see if that's true. So, yeah. Alright, so usually I like sparkling drinks. I mean, but I draw the line with water. So I'm guessing this might be nice as well. I was just expecting so much more. <laughs> mm. Okay, uh, I mean, it says likely sparkling, so it is likely sparkling. I don't know. I haven't had Ravina in a long time, so I think the taste I was expecting is different from the original, which I mean is probably my own fault. 
but that's pretty much it on that drink also by the way like i've been shooting like a feelings check kind of video for feb by this point i'm just i don't know if i'm still going to share it it's a bit um it's like one of those things sometimes i feel like over, i overthink at some point i you know share something then after when i keep thinking about it i'm just like oh maybe i shouldn't have shared that much uh, but then sometimes my friend tells me that tends to lead me to even what i don't want to call self-censorship just literally you know just editing yourself and i feel like when you edit yourself too much it just becomes inauthentic so it's just one of those things that um yeah i'm very like 50 50 at the moment um but aside from that this now might be a kind of feelings check that you know should probably be in that other video but i'll just speak on it regardless um so i feel like this week has been quite interesting um <laughs> i use interesting not to mean interesting but just to, to either mean just different or something out of the ordinary happened but I don't know if interesting is like the most accurate word I could use, but that's besides the point. I feel like uh, there's just, in a way, um, perhaps being pushed into a transition that I don't necessarily feel I was ready for. And the thing is, you know, sometimes you know something is coming, um, you've even been thinking about it, but you've just been taking slow steps towards it. And then all of a sudden it's like now there's a deadline to eat and you're like oh like this deadline is too close i needed like you know more than double the time that i have now and it's just one of those things that that is currently happening like within me around me whatever but i also feel like very unshaken by it it's like yeah i should move into action i should do this and that but I honestly just feel like doing nothing like just chilling just letting things unfold the way they'll unfold and then at whichever time if I'm ready I think maybe I will spring into action and um, it's just pretty like I don't know I don't know what to make of it because I personally from how I experience life sometimes I feel like if I'm reacting very quickly to something I am I haven't really comprehended fully um, I end up kind of just you know grasping at straws just you know like just things somehow I feel like they crumble and because that's what I think will happen I would rather not respond as quickly and just give it a bit more time and because once things crumble of course I will go into panic mode because now what am I supposed to do um, so I feel like I'm at that point where I'm, I am there's just such a small line between me and going fully into panic mode and I just do not want to get to that line yet because I need to before that like just you know assess the situation make sure I'm like very prepared so that we can cross that line so it's just interesting because it seems like I'm giving myself pressure to cross this line sooner so it's just um, it's strange I feel like I mean of course I'm talking in parables or whatever but I think anyone who I've talked to recently and shared um, you know can kind of get or rather understand what I'm perhaps referring to so I mean that's it um, that's a check-in um, but at least tomorrow is Friday like life can be bad but at least tomorrow is Friday um, that's that's the message that's the theme of my life eh? <laughs> um yeah i guess i will perhaps check in tomorrow or over the weekend i'm not too sure i was expecting a delivery to come today i don't know if it's going to come but in case it does i'll definitely do an update um you know later on or maybe tomorrow even i don't know because right now it's actually just five yeah just one minute past 5 p.m so yeah see you when i see you i guess so remember earlier in the week i had tried this ice cream but i told you i found it a bit too tangy for me um yeah so this is meant to be a milder version of it and i'll be trying it out for you the people over at Ibu are kind enough to just send a milder version for me so yeah let's try it so this is how it looks i love that this time there's like a touch of the lime zest so 
so far so good this ice cream looks really good and I'm just now about to taste it Wow. Mm. you know I like that I can still feel the acid part of it but it's not overpowering and I feel like this is what I imagined um, a citrusy kind of flavor would taste like so I definitely recommend I welcome this modification it's definitely better mm -hmm. way better yeah This is it. This is it.